Hello, my name's Jill and I'm going to demonstrate one of my um, wet into wet oil painting techniques on this canvas here. Right, so I've drawn a, I've done a drawing already. Um, I start off, you can see roughly there's going to be some birds and autumn and trees and whatever happens. I've got a few photos here. Um, I've got some pictures of some birds. And then most importantly, there is, is I tend to sort of have a an idea in my mind. This is just a very, very simple sketch. It won't mean much to anybody else, but <laughs> anyway, it's going to develop from there. So I've covered this in linseed oil. Um, first of all, I had a just a, a very thin wash of acrylic paint over it, just so that I'm not painting directly onto white. It's a bit confusing, and. Um, you can see the drawing underneath. I use three D canvases with the edges so I can just paint the edges. Just putting lots and lots of paint on there. What I do first of all, particularly with the whites, I'll use a palette knife and um, make some different shades of white because I'm going to ladle it on a lot. Lights, a couple of daylight lights. There's one up there, one of the easel ones, and then uh, this one. So here I go. very wet because I've got oil all over this so now that I've put some colour on um, big brushes all different size brushes I'm kind of gonna blend everything together here and there where I want to um, I've done a nice circle of a nice spiral of crows which I like to particularly plan that but it kind of happened and, and I like that much better than the original drawing that I had so yes now I'm going to use different brushes to to blend it together There's a few close-ups of how it's looking. It's lovely and wet and gooey and I'm just, um, because I've put the linseed oil on, I'm hoping I can come back tomorrow and the day after, however long, and um, carry on working the paint around. And the reason I like this method is because, well, you get to play, really, which I think that's what painting's all about. So it looks horrible and mucky from here, but if I go back, you can see how it's beginning to look. The, that's obviously not painted that bit there yet, but this is beginning to go. And I've got my light. I really like my crow spiral. And what I like about this is that I'm getting what what I end up painting is really colours and shapes and things that that are coming out of you know things I've seen. But I don't know what's imprinted on my mind until I actually start to paint, and then and then you know what develops naturally. Is what happens. So there you go, I shall carry on tomorrow.
battery ran out, so it's probably a bit missing. Uh, I've put a lot of paint on, it's a horrible mess, it's all sort of just slung on. So this is my most important part, is where is whether I can actually now make this into something wonderful. And uh, I should think probably four times out of five I do manage to make it work. Um, but the, the ones that I don't, I end up painting over. <laughs> so it's very simple. So I've, I'm just going to basically be blending and moving paint around and maybe scraping some off. And um, the reason I do that is because uh, as I say, it's, it, it gives you, you don't know what's going to happen, and that makes it a lot more fun. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so um, it did work out, which is a relief because it's a waste of video otherwise. I like it, it's sort of very nice colours, so everything fits in very nicely. And uh, yeah, there you go. So this is probably a very good video of how not to do things. And um, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone who's, who's just starting out painting because it goes out of control very quickly <laughs> and of course I like that but not everybody does.